This entire video is based around Leland Scar's comment on his own base and changing the frets on his base to mandolin wire. Roll the clip. So it was not an issue putting these on, but I'll tell you the minute I played the bass with these frets on it, it was a game changer for me. And all of my basses have them, my Dingwall signature, my Warwick bass, everything comes with mandolin frets on them. So in this video, I'm just gonna show you the entire process of what happened and, uh, and the outcome and whether or not it's worth it. So come along for the ride of your life. <laughs> I want you to really pay attention to like the fret size because when we change it to the vintage frets we're gonna feel oh, like yeah. a huge difference you won't feel anything you won't feel the frets underneath the strings at all once we install smaller frets on it i'm gonna drop the neck a little bit more get it closer to like dead straight dead level and uh, i think it'll be a huge difference so we're gonna go and do this refret and i'll bring you along come on Step one to any fret job is have a TV, a beer, and... and a completely different guitar project. Yeah, a completely different one. Dude, do you like my uh, my emergency stop switch? Check this out. What is it? If there's an emergency. You just pull the... <laughs> yeah, boom. <laughs> All right, basically you want to take off your fret, uh, your, your strings first. That's what we're going to do. Take off the strings. Then we're going to just take off the frets. Actually, we're going to detach the neck and everything. You'll see. All right. We have all the strings off, they're right here. All right, take off the neck, here we go. All right, once you take, once you take the, uh, the body off, you're good. You gotta take the frets out now. You gotta take the frets off now. All right, soldering iron, here we go. By the way, don't put it to your, don't, don't put it close to your face, but I will. Tries it in like Oh, detail. nice. Oh. <laughs> I'm not always like, oh, having like, with another woman now. You're so good at what you do. Welcome to the yeah, video. All right, no, but seriously, we've taken off all the frets as you can see. I sanded it down with 320. He's gonna clean up the frets with this little. He's gonna do that. I am gonna do this. Yeah. All right, let me show you what he's talking about. These edges have been clogged up, and we're trying to open them up really quick, gently. So we're using this little baby to open up that edge to get the longer frets in there. Uh, but anyway, here we go. I was worried because they're pretty radius to my point of five instead of 12 that they wouldn't go in. Yeah, well with enough pressure it'll flatten it out. This, this, this is the radius machine. Get radius, bro. Get radius. We're killing it right now. We got these right now. We're gonna have to trim them down, cut down the edges. Here we go. All right, so we've gotten to the point where I've marked the frets as you normally do on a refret, and then you level it with a leveling beam and sandpaper. But the real point of this video is to show you how it feels at the end of it. So I'm not gonna show you all the crap that doesn't matter, okay? All right, so basically, after that fret job, I'd say both Nathan and I agree that the frets on this thing uh, are significantly smaller, uh, both width-wise and height-wise. The only problem is we don't have an Allen wrench here at this specific place to lower the action. However, the one thing that was really bothering, bothering me about the, the previous frets is that I could feel it moving my hand up and down the neck. And when I, you know, do something like this, it's like the frets aren't even there. Uh, with the last frets, it, they were so thick that I just, it was so uncomfortable to hold and my fingers would be touching the ends of the frets and my, my hand would get worn out, all, all sorts of things like that. So, so when you see these other videos out there that are going, oh man, make your bass play t 10 times better, 10 times faster, all this stuff, it, you know, it's just clickbait, okay? This actually makes your bass play significantly better. Let me explain something that's actually going on here. I'll, I'll show a picture of it right now, which is that the frets that I used to have on this bass were a lot thicker than these. These are Fender vintage frets uh, right on Amazon. Uh, they're normally found on old Tellys, Strats, um, so old guitars like that. Um, but when I look up what standard 
base fret wire is, it is 1.15 millimeters tall. And that's just from where it's flat all the way up to the crown. So now this fret wire is actually a little over one millimeter tall. Now the width is actually even more of a difference. So the width of standard base fret wire is actually 2.65 millimeters. And this fret wire is actually close to two millimeters. So 0.65 millimeters. Now I know you might think, oh, that's just millimeters. It's actually a huge difference in terms of millimeters. Just a few millimeters can be the difference between you fretting out or having the best instrument possible in your hands. My hands come in a little bit closer to the fretboard because of those smaller frets. The closer my fingers are together and the more my hand is like this, the more comfortable my hand is. So not only is the playability better in my opinion, it's also how comfortable I am, which also improves how confident I'm gonna play. If you wanna make your bass actually better, get a refret, make, get some small frets because big old fat bass frets don't work. Do they? They sure don't. No, they don't. So stop it. Get some help. So change those frets. Get out of here. No one wants your hair. And by the way, to that guy who said a comment in my last video, uh, the most recent video about this guitar, uh, the guy who said, you can tell he's a guitar player because he's playing with his thumb. Well, I'm not playing with my thumb anymore, am I? But seriously though, thank you, because now I've, I have totally committed myself to only playing with these two fingers. Because peace, man. Bye. Bye, get, leave. But also subscribe, like, leave a comment, but I love you, yeah, but leave, get out. Stop, get off of YouTube, but just watch my stuff. No one else's. But if not, get off. All right. <laughs> Subscribe. Subscribe.